Hi everyone, winter is the time to play with uh, new things and in my case I have a few new tires but first of all I am going to take a look at the Victoria tires and what you see here is the Barzo and the Mezcal they are both cross-country tires that uh, I am planning to use in 2019 the compound they use in their tires uses graphene which is supposed to give you a whole bunch of good stuff and you see here for the Barzo this is for loose and mixed type of conditions actually if you look here on the back they give you a tiny bit more about that they call it hard pack mixed terrain and maybe a little bit of wet the only other thing here on the label is the ETRTO so 57 millimeter expected width of this tire and that's the inner dimension supposed to be 730 grams and by the way that's the product code for them on the mezcal I have the graphene blah blah but I don't have the info about the application this is more of a, a dry hard pack and mixed condition tire on the back here kind of the same information is listed but uh, you have the ETRTO which is by the way the same 57 mil and the weight which is supposed to be 710 grams once you remove that strap and the packaging you're gonna find this inside which is not a warranty paper this is actually uh, how to install a tire on a rim and here on the side wall you can see the information about the tire 29 or 235 both tires are that that's the ETRTO these use the graphene they are four compound tires tubeless ready or TNT and they do provide the sidewall protection sidewall feels pretty rubbery and actually this is a two-tone tire you can see the black of the thread and the sidewall it's a lighter gray bars on the scale is 759 this is over the 730 mentioned here or the 745 mentioned on their website as opposed to that mezcal comes up to 705 we have 710 mentioned here on the box and on the website they mention 725. I'm installing the tires on a set of Stance Arch MK3 rims that I have reviewed not too long ago. They provide a 26 millimeter ID or internal dimension and this redesigned profile has 60 millimeter height. Tires have a pretty tight bead but I was able to install them without tire levers. You can see here made in Thailand and the rotation specified on each. I have them at 40 psi right now and I will leave them overnight to stretch a little bit. I'll be back tomorrow to take some measurements. Here you can see the round profile of both tires but you can see on the Barzo those channels that would provide a bit more cornering or a bit more aggressive cornering. Also this uh, continuous ridge of knobs in the center of the Mezcal that would give you great rolling resistance. One day later 25 psi on the tires and you can see how the cornering knobs and the casing are pretty much at the same level on the Barzo so that means that the thread width and the casing width will pretty much be the same. Looking at the Mezcal it's not much different the cornering knobs and the casing are the same level. It's very easy to set up tubeless and if you look the casing is nice and round no side to side wobble almost perfect something that I can say about the tires that I've seen as of late measured width is a 224 as we see there switch it to millimeters that's almost 57 but guess what you have 57 here at the RTO so 57 millimeters width that's what they say on the specs even though this is a 235 tires that measures 225 Mezcal pretty much the same 57 millimeters and you can see the caliper here pretty much touching on the casing the side knobs here do not perturb out much if at all as for the height of these tires the Mezcal is about 72 millimeters remember my rim is 16 millimeters tall and Barzo is maybe a millimeter taller than that so about 73 millimeters tall with the 16 millimeter rim height. The difference coming from the height of the knobs Mezcal center is 2.5 2.6 cornering knobs about 3.8 millimeters tall Barzo you add about half a millimeter so these would be more like 3 millimeter tall and the cornering knobs here 
will be 4.2, 4.3 millimeters tall. So overall nice volume tires that I'm looking to use, not necessarily for racing given their weight, but maybe just perfect uh, trail uh, tire combination. I don't know. Uh, they look pretty with that uh, gray sidewall. Uh, the volume is not as big as an Icon 235, but the Barzo seems to be more aggressive for front for sure. What about you guys? Have you had any experience with Vittoria tires or GX brand before that? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you found this useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you folks on the trails. Cheers guys. Cheers.